Hello my fellow comic book collectors, it's Alan the Comic Collector Geek and this is part five of this unboxing. It should be a pretty cool one, it's more modern books, a bit of golden age but mostly modern. Um, every so often I like slabs and every so often what I'll do is I'll look for opportunities to buy very affordable slabs, like I mean really affordable uh, and that's partly what this is. Um, my comic shop <laughs> Dang. Um, inside joke uh, has all these um, slabs that you can buy for almost well, actually less than the cost of the slab some of this is that so I'll show you some of the books it they'll be good they're good books it's just they're some of them are more affordable than others okay this first one's not one of those more ex inexpensive ones but it is a good one um, this is Milk and Cheese, number one. Now, uh, this is from 1991, and it's, it's like one of these, uh, like, alternative or underground comics um, that was really, really popular late 80s, early 90s. I actually picked up, in the previous unboxing series, I showed the very first appearance of Milk and Cheese. Um, but this is their first titled book. Uh, just a cool underground comic series. Uh, this is from uh, Slave Labor. <laughs> yeah, very cool. Cool book. Let me show you the back as well. Uh, but yeah, this, they were very popular in the 90s. It was coming this summer from Slave Labor, Labor Graphics. What is it? Uh, Ob Oblivion City kind of town. That's kind of interesting. So it's um, Evan uh, Dorkin story cover and art. First title devoted to milk and cheese. Very cool book and it presents really well even though it's like it's you know it's super high grade but actually it looks like a 9.8 more than 9.2. I don't really see what's wrong with it. <laughs> Oh my goodness, <laughs> I can see two flaws. And okay, very, this is the most minor flaws. Okay, this corner is slightly, like, like it looks like it could be pressed out. It's like slightly, it's like the most slightly bend to it. And then this corner has a bit of white. Now that might not be something you could fix, but man, <laughs> this is like, a uh, really nice copy. I mean, it looks like a 9.8. It really does. It's quite beautiful. So quite quite awesome. So I was quite happy to get that. Um, this is probably one of those ones that if you cracked and pressed it, resubmitted it, you probably could get that 9.8. I don't really care. But I just thought it was, it's a nice book. Um, this next one was one that I was, so sh I was shocked how inexpensive this book was. I mean, it was almost the cost of the slab. I mean, or maybe even less than the cost of the slab. And it's a really nice high grade copy. Um, actually, I almost want to look up how much I spent for this. Do I have it anywhere? Do, 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 do. Uh, I'm going to look it up. So uh, actually it was more than the cost of the slab. It was $71. I thought that was a great price though, still. Uh, for Miss Marvel number one uh, in a 9.0. <laughs> I just thought for like a 70s book, I mean, that's that's a really solid grade. Um, White Pager, 1977. First, Carol Danvers as Miss Marvel. And um, yeah, just a just a cool book. Um, you know, so this is Miss Marvel number one. It's a major key. Um, it was a book that had gone kind of crazy for a while, like like I think it probably was worth maybe even like four or five hundred at one point <laughs> but now it's really dropped um so I thought it was a good time to pick it up and I always thought this version of Miss Marvel was fairly sexy I just always thought it was a great cover uh so yeah I figured I'd pick it up and get evil King Evil on the back I actually had this toy as a kid <laughs> I had this toy so yeah that's very cool um so yeah so um Miss Marvel number one from 1977. Who did the cover? Um, Jerry Conway story, John Romita, and Jick Giordano. Giordano. 
Another cool book. This is not a cheap one. Uh, <laughs> this one was a bit more expensive, but I was pretty excited to get it because I always love this cover. Um, this is another, like, we're sort of sticking in the bronze and to um, modern age books so far. But this one is another great book from the, like, 90s. Uh, this is Punisher 102 and a 9.8. I was <laughs> super excited to get this book. I wanted to get it in high grade. Um, just a great book. I mean, this is one of the craziest covers with Bullseye on the cover. And you see um, the Punisher reflected in his sword um, or dagger or whatever it is, knife. Um, so just a really cool uh, uh, Bullseye cover. Just, he looks so like insane. So uh, this is a uh, Frank Terran cover. It's really great. I think it's one of the best Daredevil covers, actually. It's one of my, it's, it's actually one of my favorite Daredevil covers. Just really cool. So, a uh, Daredevil. <laughs> Punisher covers, I should say. I always associate Bullseye with Daredevil, so, uh, yeah. But, um, yeah. So, yeah. So, that's uh, Punisher 102. And now we move into the Silver Age. And I'm really close to finishing this collection. I think I'm one book away <laughs> at this point. Uh, this is Lois Lane number two. And I, I once, I, th I think it's issue number three and five, maybe. Maybe it's two issues that I'm missing. Um, once I get three and five, I'm, I've got the complete run of Lois Lane. Uh, so this is number two uh, from 1958. And it's a Kurt Swan and Stein, uh, Stan K cover. It's a really cool one. Lois Lane is a really fun, fun series. <laughs> Just they, the cool thing about Lois Lane is they could do whatever they wanted, uh, and um, they would have like sort of these like alternative stories with Lois getting married to Superman, dating Superman, having affairs. Uh, Superman having affairs, them killing each other. It's <laughs> just like so much fun. Uh, so much silly stuff that happens. And we got feature, featuring Superman's Forbidden Room. Lois, why did you open this door when I warned you never to enter this room? Now I know your secret, Superman. This photo of me on the wall and that statue, do they prove you love me? <laughs> It's silly, but uh, yeah, I really like Lois Lane. Just fun stuff. Okay, um, now another very affordable slab. I forgot how much this was. This was really, really, I, gotta, I have the prices in front of me. Uh, but, so I'm just curious how much I paid. Oh, uh, this is on a different interior, I guess. Oh, different one. Oh, well, I forgot. I think it was like, this was the cost of the slab. I'm pretty sure. I think it was like 20 I want to say $20 kind of level. Um, New Mutants, number one. I just wanted to have a graded copy. I have a raw copy of this book, but um, I just wanted a graded copy. Um, this one's highly underrated. Um, it's the second appearance of the New Mutants. The first is in a magazine size format. Um, and it's the story of Karma. And a story continued from... Marvel Graphic Novel number four, which is a magazine size. So this is really the New Mutants' first comic book appearance. And, yeah, very underrated book, but major key. So it's a cool one. And then, as I was saying, there were some books that are just like the cost of the slab. These ones I thought were just interesting. I think I paid like not on this list I thought it was on this list but it isn't yeah it's a different list um but yeah but these ones were like I think 10 bucks each <laughs> so and they're nine eights like, like less than the cost of the slab uh but they're what I think are really cool so this one is Wonder Woman but you see how it kind of I don't know if I can make it work we'll see if I can make it work yeah so you get this kind of interesting effect i don't know i always like this kind of thing um and um yeah so it's wonder woman number one 
and it's um, 3D lenticular front and back Superman cameo and cover by uh, Tom R Rainey and on the back you got American Dad and it's kind of a cute little American Dad back thing where you get the fish <laughs> splashing yeah, it's fun stuff okay so that was the first one I really like the, those <laughs> lenticular or uh, kind of uh, uh, lenticular 3D lenticular covers so I bought another one again these were like 10 bucks <laughs> I just thought they were too cheap to pass up I just thought they were cool like you know I don't know I don't even know what this title is <laughs> I just thought it was a cool <laughs> cool lenticular cover um so this is from 2014 it's a uh, what is it? Um, Trinity of Sin, Pandora. And it's the New 52, Future's End. I just thought it was a cool cover. <laughs> this is pure cover by. And it has a really cool American Dad on the back. Which is not a bad series, by the way. So, yeah. So, yeah. It's just, <laughs> just silly things I buy. Anyway, well, next one is... Okay, this one I have to do a little bit of unwrapping. So yeah, so um, every so often you can buy like these really inexpensive uh, uh, graded comics, and I figure, hey, why not? Why not? It's, you know, they're fun. Not too expensive. Why not? Okay, this one, <laughs> whoa, I didn't realize how um, uh, interesting it was. So this was um, Duty Calls number one, and I have to censor it quite a bit. One sec here. <laughs> it's like I have to censor a bit. I won this in auction, and it was, I think it was like 40 or 50 bucks. It was a little bit more expensive. It's one of six. Um, it is a bit risque, <laughs> so that's why the censoring. Um... It's Duty Calls number one from Tuxedo Tiger Comics uh, 2023, manufactured with uh, PE. I, I, I'm not sure what PE stands for, but it's the edition size, maybe. Five of six. So it's number, number five of six printed. Um, Friday the 13th uh, edition. Virgin cover. And it's... Uh, L.C. Ferritus? Ferritus cover? I'm not sure who he is, but, but just a cool one. There, I'll zoom in without <laughs> showing anything. Just a really cool book. I just thought, hey, why not? I mean, it's it was pretty sexy, but... And very, like, there's only six of them, so can't go wrong when it's that rare. And this next one was another great slab that I got. So these are all very affordable slabs. That's maybe the theme of this video. But the next one is a Golden Age book um, that I got really, really affordably. Um, they actually have the original price on it, but I didn't pay that. I, I think I got it for 100 So um, this is Four Color Favorites, um, number 31 from Ace Periodicals, 1947. I just thought it was a great good girl uh, art cover. Uh, my friend Lyle was the one that told me about this one. So um, I was like, oh, I'll definitely check that out. And he said, oh, it's got a best offer too. So <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, I'll see what I can get, how much I can get it for. Um, so I just thought this was good. Uh, you know, cute cover. The guy slides down the slide and leaves a little something behind. So just a cute cover. And uh, it's a nice good girl art cover. And you can learn how to take care of your bad skin, which is always useful. So that is it for this video. Just a quick one. Um, these were all the cheaper slabs. <laughs> As I said, these were the more affordable ones. The bigger slabs are in the next video. So um, it's going to keep on getting bigger and bigger from now on. But uh, I just figured I'd show some of the, the fun ones that I picked up. I, you know, sometimes I get into these moods where I feel like buying a bunch of affordable slabs. Um, and what I do is I, I do a search on um, on eBay for just like the cheapest slabs. <laughs> See, what, if there's something cool, I'll pick them up. 
and those were some cool ones. I, you know, I like the lenticulars. I think they're fun. Um, so yeah, so again, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.